Hello Taurus, welcome back to your monthly zodiac readings. I trust you guys had a wonderful month last month and are gearing up for April. Your birthday is coming up, Taurus, so happy birthday. And for some of you, you're having children. I see the fertility card is here on my table, so some of you are giving birth or you are becoming pregnant in the month of April. So be careful, Taurus, if that's not something that you're looking to do because fertility is on here, balance, and uh, it shows me that it could possibly happen. So, the first card that you're getting for the month of April is Contemplation. Uh, a couple of the fire signs got this card as well. So, you're being asked to look within. Who are you, truly? What do you truly want to manifest in your life when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to partnership? If you are in a relationship, what is your ideal way of communicating with this other partner? How can you make your relationship a stronger bond what can you do to deepen your emotional bonds with this person uh, your stability your commitment to this person and you're also being asked to look at your talents if there is something that you have that's a special talent Taurus you need to pull it pull it out and put it on the table and use that as something to open up channels of communication with those that you are involved with or people at work or people that you have relationships with but if you have a significant partner I would have to say that your talents will help you with that partner somehow but you need to use them Taurus again you have the fertility card so abundance money uh, relationships sexuality becoming pregnant having children Venus is in retrograde at this time and Venus is your planet so you're being asked to look into the ways that you make money the ways that you love and, and incorporate them together how can you work how work that better to make it work for you for your life some of you like I said are having children this month congratulations you're also being asked to balance your your emotional life with your actions the actions that you take what fires you up what fuels you blend the two together to be more balanced in your relationship with that of the other also temper your relationship with that person or your forward movement temper your actions so that they blend a bit better with that of your partner be more patient if you have addictions Taurus because this card also represents any type of addictions that you may have you need to set them aside you need to get rid of them you need to try to balance them out so that they're not affecting you or affecting your love life in any way because sometimes addictions negative patterns things that we do or say can affect us can affect our relationship can end a relationship so be careful with that Taurus you also have the Queen of Cups here which it represents love it represents commitment in a relationship it represents a water sign some of you may be involved with a water sign you need to blend your actions more with that water sign okay Taurus it could represent your mother as well communications with your mother Taurus because of the Queen of Cups could be someone that uh, that could use communication with you a bit more your mom you may not have been communicating with your mother or a mother figure it could be a grandmother a mother um, also it represents the Queen of Cups is usually a person that is committed 100 percent to their family loves their family the things that she does are committed fiercely to their to the family one way or another they work they do everything they do somehow family is involved behind their every action so perhaps this card is just telling you to to bring family to the forefront and the things that you do make sure that it helps everyone involved including yourself but mostly have family as the main ideas your main thoughts as you move forward in this month whether it's a romantic relationship or your nucleus family because either way you have relationships with them you have love that's shared with them because this can all help you later on you're also getting the wisdom card this is the high priestess so by following your intuitive guidance or you're going to have either dreams that come to you this month that are going to be very vivid and that are going to bring you messages 
or you're going to be very intuitive when it comes to the people that you love or the people in your family so listen to that you've also got the ten of coins which is an improvement when it comes to your finances or when it comes to your home life a bigger home an addition to your to your family which is coming so there's going to be several generations living under the same roof um, but it does depict a luscious very abundant family life where there's a lot of love in those walls you know within the walls of your home so Taurus keep that up there's a lot of passion coming forth with the king of wands you are enacting a lot of your plans or a lot of things that are coming into the forefront or finally moving forward there could be some energies that had been stuck or some plans or situations that you wanted to implement that had not happened well, now they're going to start moving forward. Okay, you've got the Prince of Coins, which is new uh, new ideas, new studies, new pathways that perhaps open up for you, Taurus, in your where your love life is concerned. Uh, some of you may be going back to school or learning something new where finances are concerned, but again, it's to help your family. You're also getting the tradition card here this is the card of the pope this is the card of the hierophant so marriage commitment a traditional committed relationship is coming into your life if it isn't there already it's coming and this card also represents the sign of taurus so you're being represented here so that means that your energy is very solid for the month of april taurus you're going to be very traditional in the way that you think, in the way that you act. If you're not married, you're going to want to marry the person that you're with. For some of you, there's a new person coming into your life. If you are single, that's going to be there for a committed relationship, for marriage. Not just a fly-by-night or a relationship that's not going to last. The relationship that you're in can last a lifetime, and the new one that's coming in is for a commitment. So keep that open. You may have some differences of opinions with the people around you at this time. Try to be careful with the words that you speak because, again, Mercury is in retrograde and communication is not going to be very clear for any sign. It doesn't matter who you are. So you have to be careful how you speak to people in your life, people at work, so that you don't cause a big riff in your relationship or at work because of something you say immediately and then regret it two seconds later you know there's going to be a lot of messages back and forth especially for those of you that are expecting children you're going to be communicating with others either family members or people that you love or just friends there's going to be a lot of communications back and forth whether it's you and a new person that you have met or you and in your relationship or with family okay there's a new gift that's being given to you that you really don't really see it for what it is but it's something that's coming from from the divine because you're busy looking at the past that when you were happy but there's some new happiness that's coming into your life Taurus you need to see it for what it is okay now I'll shuffle this for now but I'll, let me put it aside let's see what the romance angels have for you for this month Taurus Messages for the sign of Taurus. Everyone listening to the sign of Taurus. Okay. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, Taurus. Like I said. So for some of you, you're going to become engaged. Some of you are going to be married. Keep an open mind for some of you that are single. Your soulmate may differ from your usual types and expectations. So if you guys are single and you're hoping to meet someone... The person that's coming is going to be really, really different from anyone that you've ever dated or what you have in your imagination as your perfect type or perfect mate. So erase that, okay? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So for some of you, either work or family issues might take you away from your partner, but that will give you time to get ready for when your partner comes back. Tweak whatever you have to do, fix the place up, fix your yourself up a little, you know, try to do something a little different. And for some of you that are single, this card usually represents to me that the time is not now when that new partner is going to come in. But it gives you that time to get ready, to still prepare for when the partner does arrive because the partner is on their way. 
and they're going to be a little different from what you expected. So that person could come from a different culture, different country. Uh, perhaps they're going through their own situation there and they're moving to wherever you are in order to get away or to just start their life fresh. So separation is at hand from you and that, that new partner that's supposed to be coming into your life. So just keep working. Keep working. Keep the trust issues up that someone new is coming so that when they do arrive, you are a happy camper and you are ready and prepared for them. Okay, now for a card from the Whispers of Love deck. What is going to help you as you move forward in the month of April, Taurus, is forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So releasing the past, the people, the situations, the family members, the decisions that you made, decisions that they made, people from the past, relationships from the past, release all of that energy. Because you have a lot of wonderful things that are coming into your life this month and into the future. So let go of past disappointments, of hurts, forgive so that you can begin to heal. Remember, hanging on to past disappointments or grudges, all that does is make your body sick. You, you make yourself sick over all of these disappointments and hatred or thoughts from the past. You need to release all of that so that you can begin to heal, Taurus. And as you move forward, you don't drag any of that stuff with you. All right. We stop talking and start concentrating, Taurus, on what you want to ask the Oracle. These are the Angel Answer decks. All right. What you're asking for or what you need in your life, you need to ask others for help. Okay? Because there'll be, there'll be people there that will be willing to help. And you're going to need assistance from other people. Okay. There's something better that's coming for you for some of the things that you have just asked. Whatever that is, there's something better than what you have asked for. So just wait your time because sometimes we're having to work with divine timing and it's not always when we want it or when we feel we need it. But believe me, when it comes in, it's just right time. And this will all occur in the near future, what you have asked for. Okay. All right, Taurus, I love you, and uh, be more assertive in the way that you move forward and the things that you do this month. If you would like a private reading with me, please contact me at risatarot at gmail.com. So, love you guys. Have a wonderful month, and happy birthday. Bye for now.